Ready, Bill? Ready, Ted. One, two, one, two, three, four. After a nearly 30-year absence, Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan are back for more wacky adventures through time in the long-awaited Bill and Ted Face the Music, which sees the titular duo once again most amiably played by Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves out to fulfill their grand destiny to unite the world through the power of music. For a sequel that could have easily failed to recapture what had worked decades earlier, the end result is a lean but far from bogus amusement that largely delivers. Dude, I got a very bad feeling about this. It'll be fine, Ted. They totally love us in the future, dude. Because of the sheer age difference in the characters and the place where they're at now in their lives, Bill and Ted Face the Music has a hint of ruefulness missing from the earlier flicks. The duo may have previously concluded that the best time to be is now, but the personal and professional travails of middle age have challenged that earlier judgment. They still love their medieval princess wives and have two adult daughters named after one another, Thea and Billy. But nearly three decades later, their once excellent rock careers have waned, and Bill and Ted wrestle with the notion that they may need to give up on their musical dreams. That's when the future intercedes with a mission for them to finally compose the song they were meant to make, or reality itself will be destroyed in a matter of hours. A most heinous challenge. <laughs> are totally in trouble. No mere exercise in Gen X nostalgia, Bill and Ted Face the Music manages to recapture both the spirit and energy of the earlier films while still acknowledging the clear passage of time. The movie doesn't avoid the characters' ages, but instead shows that even in their 50s, Bill and Ted are man-children who are hopelessly codependent on each other. They are platonic soulmates. Their naivete may have waned a tad, but they're still just immature and dopey enough to lack the necessary self-awareness. That's where their time-traveling adventures have always come in to enlighten them. Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves still have the same doofy chemistry they had decades ago, not missing a beat from their first scene to immediately recapture what made them such a fun screen pairing. If Winter and Reeves didn't click all these years later, then Bill and Ted Face the Music would be dead on arrival. But thankfully, they still have infectious chemistry together. The movie has a few nostalgic callbacks, from the welcome and hilarious return of William Sadler as the fame and friend craving death, to a familiar B plotline revolving around Billy and Thea's side quest to help their dads. But this third film isn't so much interested in playing Wild Stallion's greatest hits as it is in exploring the idea of how long do you dedicate your life to your seemingly hopeless dream to something you felt you had to do. Through the course of their time travels here, Bill and Ted encounter versions of their slightly future selves who serve to show them the areas of their lives where they're deficient and glimpses of what might be in store for them should they fail. No way! How'd you like our song? It's a little on the dark side, but you know, that's cool. Winter and Reeves may still click as Bill and Ted, but the movie doesn't always give their offspring, Thea and Billy, enough to chew on to really come into their own. As Ted's daughter, Billy, Bridget Lundy Payne, shines brighter than her co-star Samara Weaving as Bill's kid, Thea. Lundy Payne seems more comfortable in such decidedly American vernacular and attitude than her Aussie co-star Weaving, and she's just more believable as the daughter of her particular screen dad. Still, the pair have chemistry together that somewhat papers over the story's shortcomings in developing them. But like the original films, Bill and Ted Face the Music remains good without ever quite grasping greatness. Perhaps it's the inherently skit-like or predictable nature of such slight material, but the Bill and Ted trilogy never quite attained excellence so much as cult admiration. Still, this third film definitely avoids the curse of the disappointing threequel and is certainly far from bogus. Bill and Ted Face the Music is simply a sweet, fun, and good time. Whoa. Whoa. Greetings, my excellent friend. We have a problem. Bill and Ted Face the Music is a pleasant escape for the quarantine-stricken, a sweet and entertaining romp that defies expectations by largely recapturing what worked about the series so many years later. Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter rekindle their past chemistry almost instantly, even if their successors Bridget Lundy Payne and Samara Weaving aren't always quite as well served by or as comfortable with the daft material. Still, the whole ensemble cast is entertaining and the movie itself proves a good-natured distraction from our own grim time. And like Abraham Lincoln once said, Party on, dudes! For more reviews, check out what we thought of Tenet and The Old Guard. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN. But isn't that stealing? How is that stealing if we're stealing it from ourselves, dude? <laughs> 
Gamescom 2020 is the heart of gaming, and you can keep to the beat right here on IGN. We've turned the single biggest show in gaming into five. Gamescom Now is your virtual show floor with up to the second live coverage. Gamescom Daily Show, Gamescom's first ever late night talk show. Our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show, the freshest deep cuts in indie gaming. And finally, the Gamescom Best of Show, including the Gamescom Award. Gamescom 2020 is available on IGN and wherever you stream Gamescom Now.